Good morning, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It is May 11th, 2009. Nice to be with you this week. Uh, we're going to be running up into some, again, major overhead resistance. I wanted to just poke out some things for you. So here's the S&P 500 again, intraday, pre-market. Nice little gap down this morning. Looks like some profit taking is going to be occurring here. Again, we had a great run up into this previous resistance area again, into the declining 200 MA. Also, a 100% retrace or a 50% retracement on the weekly chart of the larger sell-off. So, a few things to watch out for. If you look at a 15-minute chart, you can see again that we had a big run-up sell-off test to that area again a couple times and failed this 93 area. And again, that was uh, fairly significant from back in time. If you remember, we had kind of scrunched this chart up, go back and look what we're fighting into this gap back here. Oops, sorry about that. There we are. This 90, oops, hang on a second. Let me get that. There it is. This 92, 93 area. So a very, very good test of this gap. All right. This is still some more at 94 even, but the 92, 93 has been tested a couple times. And uh, again, what we're seeing now is a big sell-off, a bit of a gap down this morning into this area. So we're watching that. Uh, some business news coming up. So people are ready to take uh, some profits. So again, just uh, Yahoo Finance, very, very nice place to go for news. But um, banks plan to uh, sell stock offerings and uh, to repay the TARP money. Uh, you can read all sorts of great news in here. But uh, even George Soros is saying economic downward trend is easing. Uh, so while things aren't looking so gloomy, uh, we are seeing a sell-off again on some good uh, move up into resistance. Uh, economic news-wise, uh, nothing much today, apparently, but... Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, so the rest of the week, a uh, slew of economic data. We'll be watching these uh, things very, very closely, and especially be careful how you trade into them if you're trading pre or post market. And uh, it'll be fun to watch this week unfold. Again, just be really careful how you go along in here. Make sure that all your broad market internals are corroborating before you jump in there. And use the VIX sometimes as a tiebreaker like we have before. And I uh, look for relative strength and weakness stocks, like I always say, and that can do a lot to help you out with your uh, trades running in the favor in your favor. So very good. Be fun to be here again, like I said, with you this week, uh, we're talking to you through some things. I'll be back at lunch. We can take a look at what happened to this gap to see if it gets filled. Actually, kind of nice to get rid of this 24-hour period here. Now that we know it's gapping down to 91.59, at least right now at 8:22 Eastern Standard Time, and see how much of a gap that's going to be. So if we get a gap fill, which is typical, it'll be back up into this resistance, and then we'll see what kind of higher swing low or lower swing low we get. If we don't get any kind of gap fill, of course, that will be X percent more bearish, and we can even watch these things unfold on higher time frames as well. So very good. Well, again, I'll talk to you soon. Hope you guys have a great day in the markets and a great week. Talk to you soon.